I'm going to explain my IoT project to you. My project was connecting a smoke detector to a particle photon and then to my phone which is connected through push bullet and it will alert my phone after 10 seconds, after a minute, after 5 minutes, after 10 minutes, and then 15 minutes and then at that point I better realize that my house is on fire and I should do something about it. It will also trigger the LED on this second photon which is at pin D7 and I will show you guys everything in a little bit after I explain some of the circuit. So the smoke detector that I used um, had an ionization sensor in it and I connected that to the photon using an optocoupler and if you don't know how optocouplers work they transfer electrical signals by light which is really cool there's an LED in it and a collector and emitter and everything like that and you'll see that the third pin on this side, which is actually pin number four, is connected to D7 on this photon, which will also make that LED light up whenever the smoke detector goes off. And the ionization sensor is connected to the circuit from its pin number seven. So on the sensor, um, the smoke detector the smoke detector didn't come with a data sheet or anything and I couldn't really find one online so I had to do some digging and um, I guess most ionization sensors have their output voltage on pin 2 or pin 7 so I just hooked them both up and tested their voltage to see which one emitted 9 volts whenever the alarm was triggered and it ended up being 7 so it's a pretty easy way to check didn't take me very long and that obviously has a ground and I will show you guys how everything works okay so now I've got everything neat to where it looks like a regular smoke detector and I'm going to set it off and it's gonna take about 10 seconds for anything to happen so just bear with me You can see that D7 is lit up on the first photon. And there's D7 on the second photon. And I just heard my phone vibrate. So, push bullet says, smoke detected, save the cats. That second one is from when I tested it earlier, just to make sure it worked before I did the video. And that was obviously the 10 second alert. It would alert me if I held it down for 5 minutes, 10 minutes, etc. And that is my project. For future recommendations, I would definitely say to maybe try to get a smoke detector that hooks into the wall or the ceiling instead of a 9 volt battery one. And somehow um, hook the photon into the wall voltage. I know that there's ways to do it. Um, this was just easier for the sense of the project and I plan on hanging this in my kitchen and I have USB outlets on the wall to where I can hide the wire so it doesn't really matter to me. But if you wanted to have everything hidden and up on the wall, I'm sure there's a way to do it. Alright, thanks for watching guys.